Uh, wet AMD is wet age-related macular degeneration. Uh, as the name shows, it's age-related. It's multifactorial. It's there is gene predisposition. There are factors from the environment, what we have eaten all our life, and so on. Um, it's there are dry type from age-related macular degeneration and wet type. The wet type is more dangerous. It's progressing faster, but fortunately, we have treatment for it. With the dry type, it progresses slowly, but unfortunately, we don't have a treatment at the moment. In AMD, we have growth of new vessels, new, uh, new vessels which are not supposed to be in that place under the macula, under the foveal area usually, which is the most important part of the retina and it's responsible for our so-called 2020 vision or 100% vision. Uh, these vessels are leaking fluid and uh, they're causing for the, to the vision to go down. VGF, it's vascular endothelial growth factor, is one of the main factors stimulating the growth of these vessels, but it's not the only one. Uh, this is the factor we can treat with injections to reduce the amount of VGF so we can stop the exudation and in some, in some cases managing to cause the new vessels to regress. Uh, the injections themselves uh, is different. It's a matter of look, I would say. Sometimes people feel it a bit, sometimes not at all. Uh, if we have to add more serious anesthetic, so to say, apart from drops which we use uh, routinely, uh, people will feel the anesthetic more compared to the injection itself. So that's why it, in the majority of the cases it's just some drops and sometimes it's felt just a bit. Uh, this is quite individual. Uh, it depends on our genes. People respond different to the treatment. Some people need very frequent injections almost every month. Others, a small, small minority, are okay just with three injections. It's, it's, it's important to underline this is not a cure. It's more like maintaining the disease, suppressing the disease, so we can preserve the vision for as long as possible. But different people de need different amount of injections. The main, well, the main complication with uh, anti-VGF injections uh, come from the injection procedure itself. It's, it's classed as a surgical procedure. Main risk is infection. If a bug gets into the eye, we call that endophthalmitis. It can be devastating for the eye. Uh, there is a small risk of retinal detachment and uh, hemorrhage, but uh, the main concern is infection. So if, if something is not all right after an injection, we advise all our, our patients to get in touch immediately, urgently, even during the night.